Alright, so now that we've got our list of users, let's go ahead and take a look at our form. So we'll hop back over to Aptana, and in the users.php view, let's go ahead and scroll down to the form, and uh, we're going to need to, well, we're going to need to address this whole open thing here, because we have our query set up to run up in the uh, setup file in this queries.php. So let's open that up really quick. We need to make sure that this is running the correct query for the correct page. So we're going to go ahead and set up what's called a switch case. And this is kind of like if and else, and I don't remember if we've done this yet. So we'll go through it anyway. So up here on line two, let's hit enter a couple of times. And uh, what a switch is, is it's kind of like an if, except it allows us to do something different for several different values. Whereas if really just allows us to check if something is equal to this or something, something, something. This allows us to check if it's equal to this, 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 or this. And if none of them do a default. So you can do that with if in a way. You can do if and then if else, if else, if else, if else. But it's not as uh, nice looking. And, uh, well, you'll see. So to start off a switch, we use the term switch. And uh, if you hit enter here, and you're using Aptana, there's a good chance it's going to go ahead and spit out some code for you. Which, uh, we'll go, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we can take a look at the pieces and parts here. So we declare it's a switch. We're going to send it a value to check against. And then inside these curly brackets, it's going to be our cases. So the variable we're going to check against is the uh, page. So put that in here. So page. And by default, Aptan has given us one case and a default case. Now, switches, uh, they've got kind of an interesting syntax. You don't really see this much else in PHP. Instead of using curly brackets for the cases, we start a case like this and then we end it with this break command. And uh, I like to format it like this so we kind of match them up almost as if they were the curly brackets. So think of this as kind of like if page is equal to value, then curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And then default is kind of like our else. But we can add as many cases as we want. So for this first case, let's do pages. So if this is the pages page, we want to run this code here. But before we get all messy, let's just go ahead and set up the cases that we know we need now. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So after this case, let's go ahead and do another case. So case, and then users. And then make sure we break that one. And actually, we forgot the dashboard, so let's go ahead and do this in order. So up here above pages, let's do case. Dashboard. Oh, put the uh, colon in the wrong spot. And break. And then we have one more, which is settings. So after users, let's do your case, settings, colon, and then break. And uh, what we could go ahead and do is whatever's in the dashboard, um, if we even have anything for dashboard, we could put it here too. Um, but for now, let's just leave default empty. So for pages, let's go ahead and copy or cut this here and paste this into pages. And uh, we might. I've said this a couple times actually, but we might clean this up a little more because this is going to get pretty big. Um, the more and more stuff we add to the admin. Um, so we might actually cut this up and maybe make a folder for queries 
and put these in here. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and take what we just pasted here and copy it. And let's put it in here for users. And then we're just going to change out some of the pieces and parts here. So let's flip over to PHP My Admin. And let's look at our users table. So the uh, columns or the fields that we're most interested in are first, last, email, password, and status. So for everything that's a string, let's just go ahead and make one of these for it. So for first, last, and that's it for those. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Make sure we change the uh, key for the post array to match. So first, we're going to make sure that our uh, names for our inputs match these two. So last. And uh, let's go ahead and let's look at our update query. So we're going to change pages to users. So rather than have to type this all out again, let's go ahead and just replace some of these to match what we need. So user, we'll switch that to first. First again. Then slug, we'll do last. Then last. And title, we'll make that password. Um, and actually, I missed something here. We don't want this to be post first and post last. We want it to be this variable. So let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, post and the bracket. And let's put this in single quotes. Now, password, on the other hand, we do want that to be post. And uh, we're going to want to run the SHA1 function around it. So SHA1, in parentheses. Let's just go ahead and cut this and paste it into the parentheses. Um, we're going to need to do more to the password though, because we're going to want to verify it and all that. But for now, let's just leave this as is. Um, then label, we'll change that to status. And change this to post status. Make sure we get rid of this. Uh, actually, we can get rid of all the quotes on this one because it's going to be a value. Actually, we can get rid of all the quotes on status because it's going to be a an uh, integer. And uh, then that's all we've got. So let's get rid of the comma, header, comma, body. And then ID can stay the same because we're keeping the same format um, in all of our tables where the primary key is equal to ID. Now let's go ahead and change our insert query. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing here. So insert into pages, let's change that to users. And then let's list out our columns here. So first, last, password, and status. Let's go ahead and clear these out here. And uh, just so we don't have to write the whole post thing out again. Let's go ahead and for first, we'll just do the first variable. We'll do a set of single quotes. And, and so let's go ahead and take this value out. Actually, I'm just going to remove all these, leaving these last ones here. Let's change title to first. Label to last. And then password is going to be post password. And again, we're going to wrap it in the SHA1 function. 
And you can go ahead and cut and paste that, or you can click and drag after you've highlighted it. And then status is going to be underscore post status. Make sure that uh, single quotes aren't in there. There we go. So I'll save that, and let's look at the other stuff that we need to change. So, in our message, let's take out the word page. Do user. Do this again down here. User. And uh, we should be good. So now we can move on to our form.